Here you can see that I've dissected the male genital region of the rat. And I want to go over a few structures, primarily the glands that are involved. And in the male uh, animal, uh, there are a lot of glands that are involved in production of uh, semen and sperm. Um, starting at the top of the animal, or near the head, is this gland here. You can see there are like two wings that are connected down in here. Each one of these has two portions. The outer portion is called the vesicular gland. Let me see if we can zoom in a bit on this. Okay, it's a little better. So this is the vesicular gland, and so is this one. Now you can see there's a distinction right there around the edge. So the vesicular gland occupies the border of this structure. And deeper, right here, is an adjoining gland called the coagulating gland. So we have vesicular and vesicular, and then coagulating and coagulating. And both of these glands uh, lead into the penis uh, along with a few other structures, including this one. This structure is not a gland. This is the rat's urinary bladder. So rats don't hold a lot of volume. This is probably less than one uh, milliliter. And also in this region is another very important gland, and you can see it here, this tissue is the prostate. Now there's one other gland that is nestled in between the prostate and the bladder, and I really don't think we're going to be able to see it. And I suspect this might be part of the tissue right here. And this is called the ampullary gland. So all of these glands produce material that has to uh, leave the body in order to fertilize the female. And of course that has to occur via the penis. And the penis is attached was attached, and you see this, this was the penis, and I cut it when I was uh, dissecting the body wall of this animal. Here we have a testy, and the testy has a few parts, primarily this globular region which is the testy itself, and the surrounding tissue, which has a slightly different color and texture, is the epididymis. Now the testy is attached to the penis to allow transport of seminal fluids, reproductive fluids, by way of what we call the vas deferens. So here's the vas right here. And you can see how it connects in by the urethra, where the urethra and the bladder and the penis all join just down in here.